Hi everyone. It's been a very rough couple weeks on the crusade for sanity. Um, all of my friends are getting canceled and deplatformed and I'm irritated about it. And so I don't often make very many videos. It's not my thing. I don't enjoy being on video very much at all, but the time has come. And uh, this morning, my friend Lynn, who has lost not one, but two children to the trans cult, uh, had organized an informative meeting for parents um, to come and hear about what's really going on in this whole debacle. And true to form, the trans activists found out about it, and long story short, ended up making enough threats to get it canceled. They actually ended up threatening to burn down the building, because that is a sane and rational way to engage things that we don't like, is to threaten to burn them down, and then everybody says, okay, you win. And I'm getting really frustrated by that, guys. Very, very frustrated. Because bullying only works when you allow it to. So anyway, I will have to probably tell you more about that later. But I've decided that um, because all of my friends, mostly, you know, most of them in this case, women, who are fighting all of this stuff are getting so relentlessly harassed and bullied and deplatformed, um, we are all called TERF, so a lot of you might not know what a TERF is, T-E-R-F. Um, basically, it's a slur that uh, means trans-exclusionary radical feminist. You can be a TERF even if you are not a feminist. Um, it basically just means that you are a woman with the audacity to tell the actual fact that women can't have penises. If you will say that and you're a woman, you are a TERF. Welcome to the club. So... Um, one of the things that frustrates me the most is the public perception that we TERFs are hateful, that we're not loving enough, um, and that the love win side is always just the beacon of inclusivity and kindness. It's not true. Um, if you go to turfisaslur.com, there's ample evidence there. But when we share that evidence on our Facebook pages, they get shut down. So I'm going to make a video, um, and I'm hoping that other TERFs out there in the world will make their own. Um, called TERFs Read Mean Tweets. Um, so I want to give you just a random sampling of a couple of the things that we hear all the time. I will say the word bleep or blank um, in lieu of some of the curse words and other things that will get me more easily deplatformed from Facebook. But I want you to listen to these things and ask yourselves if these are sane comments, if they're rational ways to behave, and if this is really what love wins looks like. So without further ado. You have it better, you retarded whore. You wouldn't be raped if you were not a whore. I suggest that you leave or get a crucifix and penetrate your bleep. Here's another one. No bleep. You are small-minded. Go bleep yourself in the bleep with a cracked glass dildo. I hope it breaks in your bleep, you come guzzling gutter slut. Sorry, there's probably supposed to be an extra bleep there. I hope a disabled woman stabs you after you keep blathering those slurs in public. Why she has to be disabled, I do not know. Um, but on to the next one. You are a murderer. Know what the bleep you're fighting for. Turf ideology is pro-trans rape. <laughs> this is my favorite. I am a globally recognized artist. You're, no doubt, the sex slave of some ignorant cracker enslaved to a dead-end job. You're a bigoted pig, citing non-existent fact. You're, no doubt, Christian, too, anything but that. I'm going to enjoy your horror when you meet Jesus, you ignorant sweat hog. Pretty sure you're not going to be there when I meet Jesus, buddy, but just in case. Thank you. Um, I hope your office is burned to the ground from a natural gas leak. I hope you vomit in your sleep and choke on it. And if you don't believe that's possible, just look how Jimi Hendrix died. I'll be following you and who you are spreading your sphere to. I will be one step behind collecting your falsifications. You can block me all you want. I have a thousand accounts. Stalker. Okay, how about this one? Would you care to say that to my face, you ugly inbred cockwomble? because I'd put you on life support machine. You look more of a man than I do, you brother shagging bleep. If women were the scum of society, 
you would be the number one top-notch crotch. Your opinion kills people. Bleep you, bleep. Die. Just a few more for you. I hope I live to see the day when small-minded, hateful bigots like you are all dead. I doubt I'll get that lucky, though. There are girls with a penis, boys with a vulva, and transphobes without teeth. Sometimes you have to hit them so hard they don't get up. Gag on barbed wire. From the looks of it, your husband probably left you for a man. Shut your bleep sucker. So I will not be shutting my mouth anytime soon. Um, I will not be silent. I will not lie. I won't be forced to lie. And you can say all the mean, nasty things you want, but... If it's not true, it's not love. So I would like to start a new campaign that is called Truth Wins. And the truth is that women cannot have penises.